There's a lot of consensus in what are the issues and also some really quite radical thinking as well, um, which I hope will be taken and reflected in the next London plan. Like, for instance, looking beyond the boundaries that we've got at the moment of existing London, looking at the Green Belt and, and reviewing it and looking where the main growth corridors are and some quite bold thinking. So quite stimulating. Um, and also, I think there's a. it was great that we all came together and thought about London globally, pan-London, um, you know, because I look at a, a London borough Hounslow and it's great to step outside those boundaries because it is all connected. London is one big city and we're not an island. No one borough is an island. So that was really good to, to see London as a whole and to take part in an event that allows us to see London as a whole. There was no sort of focus just on Westminster and Cats. In fact, although Cats was talked about, it was very much about London in its, in its full glory and the suburbs, what they can provide. And I think sometimes potentially, and I don't think it's accurate, that there's been this inner London, outer London um, sort of mm, competitiveness. Outer London has such a role to play in London going forward. Um, so it's really important that we engage and we think about London in a, in a much more holistic fashion. And the debate around the polycentric sort of centres, I think that is where I think one of the, the growth um, uh, modes that we're, the growth uh, models that we're, we're thinking of taking forward, and that's the right way of doing it. Um, uh, instead of sort of the very traditional sort of very sort of high density cars and then the density falling away to the outer suburbs. It's vitally important to have a Greenbelt review. Uh, the GLA have been, I think, fudging it slightly and, and not wanting to do it in a strategic way and leaving it to London boroughs to, to take it forward, which is quite difficult for individual London boroughs. But I think if we are going to grow properly in a, in a consistent way, we do need to take hold of it and, and review it. Uh, because there's a lot of Greenbelt, and we've done a, re a review of Greenbelt in, in Hounslow, where it just frankly does not meet the test of Greenbelt and it has been there since the 1940s and 50s and now is the time to review it. Uh, it's not to say that it all should be removed but I think it's about quality of Greenbelt and I think we also need to think about a Greenbelt in a 21st century way. So instead of being what I always call a green muffler, so it's a two-dimensional approach to green stuff, actually what does it do on a number of different levels? So looking at it in a much more three-dimensional way because it is really really important but equally I think people are recognising it is constraining London unnecessarily. Uh, and whilst it's going to be very controversial and a difficult conversation, I think it's a great thing that we as Londoners should get behind and have a real debate about.